after studying this module you shall be able to understand importance of biological oxygen carriers in living organism different respiratory metalloproteins involved in transport and storage of dioxygen role of myoglobin in storage of dioxygen need of hemocyanin for oxygen transportation in mollusk and arthropods living in lower oxygen environments function of hemerythrin as oxygen carrying protein in marine invertebrates transport and storage of oxygen most of the living species perform aerobic respiration process in the presence of oxygen to break down organic compounds into energy storing molecule that is atp that can be readily used by cells as shown in figure schematic representation of aerobic respiration to harness energy however oxygen is sparingly soluble in water and hence only a small fraction of total oxygen content is dissolved in the circulatory fluids of organisms which would not be sufficient to sustain life therefore an oxygen carrier that can reversibly form a duct with dioxygen molecule is required in order to increase the oxygen carrying capacity of the circulatory fluids there are certain respiratory metallo containing proteins known which can efficiently act as biological oxygen carriers for transport and storage of molecular oxygen hemoglobin or myoglobin are often found in vertebrates echinoderms and insect larvae hemerythrin are found in marine invertebrates and annelids hemocyanin are found in mollusk as well as arthropods comparative study of properties of the above mentioned heme as well as non heme respiratory metalloproteins has been provided below myoglobin myoglobin a relatively small globular monomeric protein consists of a single polypeptide chain bound non covalently to a heme molecule a prosthetic group consisting of a protoporphyrin ring and a certain iron atom and primarily functions as intracellular oxygen storage site in cardiac and skeletal muscle fibers of vertebrates the special oxygen storing property of muscle myoglobin permits diving mammals such as seals and whales to remain submerged in water for long periods apart from storing oxygen myoglobin is also involved in the regulation of cellular oxygen in the repairing tissues and transport of oxygen to mitochondria for oxidative phosphorylation process structure of myoglobin myoglobin stands out to be the first protein to have a three dimensional structure revealed through x-ray crystallography by john kendrew in 1957 figure a 3d structure of myoglobin of sperm whale b structure of active sites of myoglobin it consists of a single polypeptide chain of 153 amino acids called globin compactly folded into eight alpha helix that form a hydrophobic pocket containing a heme prosthetic group deeply embedded within which is responsible for carrying oxygen molecules to muscle tissue as shown in figure each heme group contains one central coordinately bound iron atom that is normally surrounded by four nitrogen of planar porphyrin rings the central bound iron atom is capable of forming two additional bonds one on each side of heme plane while the fifth coordination site is occupied by a nitrogen atom from a histidine side chain often referred as proximal histidine group on one of the amino acid in the protein the sixth coordination site remain available for binding of dioxygen the iron atom in the oxygen free form of myoglobin often called as deoxymyoglobin lies about 0.4 angstrom out of the plane of the protoporphyrin ring as it is too large to fit into the cavity when oxygen binds the iron atom is partially pulled back towards the porphyrin plane the compact structure of myoglobin is stabilized by hydrogen and ionic bonds as well as by the hydrophobic interaction further four units of myoglobin join together to form hemoglobin which act as a efficient oxygen carrier but the mechanism of the oxygen binding is bit more complex mechanism of oxygen binding in myoglobin 
the binding of oxygen by myoglobin is directed by the mass action of oxygen which implies that when oxygen is present in large quantity the formation of oxygenated myoglobin occurs while on the other hand when the oxygen quantity becomes scarce this form of myoglobin dissociates in other words it means that the oxygen binding process in myoglobin occurs reversibly which may be reflected by the simple equilibrium reaction oxygen dissociation from myoglobin commonly described by its fractional saturation yo2 and o2 in partial pressure po2 substitution from the equilibrium expression gives thus as described by this equilibrium the oxygen binding curve for myoglobin follows a hyperbolic pathway when the degree of saturation of myoglobin with oxygen is plotted against oxygen pressure a steady rise is observed until complete saturation is approached and the curve levels off this has been shown in figure as evident myoglobin has a very high affinity for molecular oxygen it is 50% saturated with oxygen at a partial pressure of just 1 to 2 torr and 95% saturated at about 20 torr in fact it is the high affinity of myoglobin that permits it to store oxygen efficiently in the resting muscle at relatively low pressure and even in exercising muscle where the partial pressure of oxygen is around 20 torr however only in case of vigorous physical exercises myoglobin releases a significant portion of stored oxygen as the partial pressure drops considerably becoming less than 5 torr figure oxygen dissociation curve of myoglobin the oxygen binding process by myoglobin is accompanied by a substantial structural change at iron center firstly the radius of the iron atom shrinks considerably so much so that it fits into the plane of porphyrin rings secondly a spin pairing phenomenon occurs the five coordinate ferrous deoxy form with a high spin is converted into six coordinated oxy form containing a diamagnetic and low spin iron 3 species this has been shown in figure illustration of structural change occurring in myoglobin after oxygen is bound to it hemocyanin hemocyanin is a complex respiratory metalloprotein present in the circulatory system of certain mollusks and arthropods that serve as a oxygen carrier similar to the role of hemoglobin or myoglobin found in the blood of vertebrates the oxygenation process in hemocyanin is performed by a binuclear copper center which upon oxidation from copper 1 to copper 2 state changes color from clear to blue the extent of its reversible binding with oxygen is a function of partial pressure of oxygen these metalloproteins are always found roaming free in blood plasma instead of confined within corpuscles which is the source of the blue tinge of mollusk and arthropods hemolymph besides being oxygen carriers hemocyanin also function as a strong immunogens in many species ranging from hagfish to rabbits figure octopus having copper based blue blood studies have revealed that hemocyanin has lower oxygen binding capacity in comparison to hemoglobin even though some marine species utilize hemocyanin for oxygen transportation because in lower oxygen environment such as at the bottom of ocean where these mollusks and arthropods live it act as a better oxygen carrier than hemoglobin structure of hemocyanin hemocyanin are high molecular weight metalloproteins made up of aggregates of several individual subunits each containing two copper atoms embedded at the core that can bind oxygen molecule the two copper binding sites often designated as copper a and copper b are complexed by three histidine residues that form the distorted pyramidal geometry of each atom further two phenyl alanine residues are present in close proximity to the histidine residues that act as a hydrophobic core for the protection of active site owing to their aggregation tendency these subunits may be arranged in chains or clusters with weight exceeding 1500 kda 
Although significant differences are observed between the structure and assembly of subunits mollusk and arthropod hemocyanin, but the binding mechanism and active site are nearly identical. In arthropods, hemocyanin is made up of aggregates of multiples of hexamer in which each monomer subunit has a molar mass of about 72 kda. On the contrary, on the contrary, the basic structure of mollusk hemocyanin is a decamer of subunit which is an enormous polypeptide chain of about 350 to 450 kda. This has been shown in figure. It should be noted that arthropod hemocyanin is composed of subunit polypeptide which has a single active site whereas in mollusk hemocyanin the subunit contains 7 or 8 functional units each with an active site. Figure structure of arthropods and molluscans hemocyanin. Function of hemocyanin. The function of hemocyanin molecule revolves round a pair of copper atoms embedded at its core which act as an oxygen binding site. Upon oxygenation, the copper is oxidized from its copper 1 state in the deoxy form to copper 2 state. Once oxygen molecule binds between copper atoms, their distance increases which result in conformational change of the whole protein unit and hence there occurs a geometrical change from trigonal pyramidal to a distorted tetrahedral. This geometrical change upon oxidation of central copper atoms accounts for the change in color from clear to blue. Further, most hemocyanin bind with oxygen non-cooperatively, but in few hemocyanin of horseshoe crab and some other species of arthropods, cooperative binding is observed. In case of cooperative binding, conformational change as a result of binding of oxygen on one unit in the hemocyanin would further increase the affinity of neighboring units. Figures illustration of structural change occurred when oxygen molecule binds with hemocyanin. Hemerythrin. Hemerythrin is one of the essential oxygen carrying proteins commonly found in phyla of marine invertebrates such as spinculates and brachiopods. Hemerythrin contain iron 2 that binds oxygen reversibly. However, after getting oxidized to methamerine, it loses the affinity to bind to further oxygen molecule. Astonishingly, unlike the other oxygen binding proteins such as hemoglobin and myoglobin, hemerythrin does not contain any heme unit and also differs fundamentally in its evolution, physiology and molecular structure. The most intriguing question that often strikes the mind of chemist is that how does nature adapt a non-heme iron site to reversibly bind molecular oxygen? Structure of hemerythrin. Figure structure of hemerythrin. Hemerythrin typically exists in a form of an octamer containing apparently 8 identical 13,500 Dalton subunits with each subunit composed of 4 alpha helix fold bound to a binuclear iron center capable of binding a single molecule of oxygen. The active site of this metalloprotein fundamentally comprises of two iron atom bridged by carboxylate side chain of a glutamate and aspartate residues. The coordination sphere of the two iron atoms, the coordination sphere of the two iron atoms is completed by five terminally bound histidine units and a bridging hydroxo group. Upon oxygenation, the deoxy form of hemerythrin is converted to oxy form in which eta-1 hydroperoxy group binds to the available coordination site and forms a hydrogen bond to the bridging oxo unit. While the deoxy form of this protein is colorless and comprises of 2 Fe2 ions per subunit, the oxy form is bright reddish violet in color and contains 2 Fe3 ions per subunit. Mechanism of oxygen binding and transport. The process involved in the dioxygen binding of hemerythrin is quite unusual. 
extensive biomimetic studies have been carried out for exploring the mechanism of dioxygen activation and transport in non-heme diiron centers of living aerobic systems. These studies have revealed that hemerythrin binds oxygen reversibly as depicted in the figure. When dioxygen is bound to the binuclear non-heme iron protein, hemerythrin transfer of one electron from each Fe2 center and a proton from the bridging hydroxide of diferous site occurs to the oxygen binding of a single iron center resulting in the formation of a oxo bridging diferic site which has a terminal hydroperoxide. As a result of oxygen addition, the FeO bond distance shorten which further supports the formation of the oxo bridge. There is a experimental evidence that a portion on the bridging hydroxide ion of the deoxy form is transferred to the bound peroxo ion thereby stabilizing it which is accompanied by the concomitant oxidation of both the iron atoms of Fe3 species. Figure dioxygen binding by hemerythrin. The various forms of hemerythrin have been described according to the oxidation and ligation state of the iron center. Fe2 plus OH Fe2 plus that is deoxy reduced form Fe2 plus OH Fe3 plus that is semi met form Fe3 plus O Fe3 plus OOH minus oxy oxidized form Fe3 plus OH Fe3 plus any other ligand met oxidized form. Summary most living species perform respiration in the presence of oxygen which requires biological oxygen carriers for transport and storage of molecular oxygen. Besides transportation of dioxygen, myoglobin also exhibits special oxygen storing property which permits diving mammals such as seals and whales to remain submerged in water for long periods. Despite lower oxygen binding capacity, Mollusk and arthropod utilized hemocyanin for oxygen transportation because it acts as a better oxygen carrier than hemoglobin in lower oxygen environment such as at the bottom of ocean. Hemerythrin is a non-heme iron protein commonly found in phyla of marine invertebrates such as spinculates and brachiopods.